Hey guys. So I thought today I'm going to take you for a little walk with me uh, up the mountain, my correct environment. And I wanted to talk about some stuff that I already shared on my Facebook and that hasn't been taken too well. It's even been uh, deleted from a certain group <laughs> um, and marked as misinformation or false information. Which is really funny because it's actually what Ra says. It's not my idea. It's just, it comes from a quote that I don't see quoted enough. It comes from a quote that I don't see shared enough. That for some reason, nobody comes across. And it is, in my opinion, the most important projector quote I ever came across. Because it really brings an end to this massive confusion about what invitations are and what recognition is. And what it actually explains it is how non-important the invitation actually is. And how the more we focus on the invitation, the more we're focused on something that we're waiting for, we don't see what is correct for us. As projectors, we don't see ourselves. So we can have a talent, we can have something that we do very well. Like for example, art. I can be an amazing painting and I can know that I'm an amazing painting and I'm gonna try and put it out in the world and it's not gonna work for me. It's not because I'm not good enough at it. It's just because that path is not mine. It wasn't meant for me. While I was focused on developing this painting skill, I missed to see what others were recognizing in me, what the actual correct path for me was. So the way to really approach all this and to really understand recognition as is to see it as a direction for us. So if I am focused on this one skill, I don't see the directions that are opening in front of me. If I have one person saying to me, you'd be such a great teacher, but there is no invitation, through everything I have learned by now, until this quote, I would believe that it's not correct. There is no invitation. And recognition is way more important than invitation. Ra himself says that we are really only here for one invitation. And of course there can be more than one. But do you know why they're going to be so rare? It's because these energy beings that need to invite us. I think the energy is being taken too literal as a sacral. It's not just about that. It's also about resources. It's also, it's about somebody picking us up and placing us into this place where we're going to be honored, where we are going to be able to be who we truly are. And even if this invitation was not based on the definition in our chart, that still does not mean that we're not going to deal with the definitions that we have coming through that invitation. So if I'm invited to be something that I don't necessarily see in my chart, I will bypass my authority and I will say this is a false recognition, I don't have this definition. Which is absolutely wrong because you have no idea what this invitation can lead you to. 
I don't have to necessarily be invited for my 31-7. I don't necessarily have to be invited to be a leader straight away. I can be invited to be whatever else that will make me deal with the energies of a 31-7. So like in my early life, in the beginnings of my working life, I was invited and not invited to be a sales assistant, to work in a shop. And if I look at my chart and I see, no, I'm a 31-7, I should just be invited to be a leader. It's nonsense. But in every job, in every store that I worked, I have been promoted to a leader, to a leadership position. This is how recognition happens. This is how it happens that you come to deal with your definition. It's not so obvious. It doesn't have to happen straight away. But therefore, if this authority makes any sense, me, for example, as somebody who has an unconscious wave and who has the only other, the only conscious definition that I have is the one eight, I would very much be somebody who would think, no, I don't want that job. I'm too special for it. I feel too special. I have a huge identity in the throat and I don't want to be your salesperson. I need, I'm meant for something bigger. But that is me making decisions out of my identity, out of my mind's authority, out of my fake authority. And I'm going to read you this quote now. So this business of an invitation, because it's very important, but it gets confused because projectors think, oh my God, do I need a formal invitation for everything in my life? It gets very heavy for them. The answer is no. Projectors are designed to be recognized once. And when I say once, at least once at a time. Because this is the whole thing about the nature of a projector. They cannot wait for many invitations. They are waiting for a specific invitation. And they are waiting for the invitation primarily from an energy type. If you're looking at just basis of relationships, how important it is for projectors to have relationships with energy types, because that's where their whole future lies, in their ability to be able to guide and their ability to be able to manipulate the energy. And the whole thing about a projector is that once you recognize a projector, they have access to that energy and they have access to that energy for life. It's just the way it works. So this is the thing, guys. The best example I've seen on this is the example of sports. And it's me as a child. I played tennis. I was a part, I was in a tennis club for over 10 years. And it's like thinking you're a projector in a very surface kind of way would be every morning I would wake up and wait to be invited to go for a training. This is not how it works. You get invited once. And then I gave this analogy of a door where you have, when you're waiting for a specific invitation, you're standing in front of one door and waiting for it to open in front of you and you're kicking it in and you're nervous and you're impatient and you don't see that there's loads more doors around you because you're so focused on this one thing that you think you do very well. So it's not about waiting to speak. You have been invited to speak many times in your life. You don't have to now wait to speak every single time you want to say something. It's not how it works. It's just about opening doors. You open, you get the door for communication open. You can get the door for sports open. You can get the doors for art opened. They don't have to be reopened a million times. They don't lock, they don't, you don't get pushed out once you get in. When you're in, you're in. It's your world. Now Ra again. Long after I'm dead, projectors will still be making money off of me. 
That's what projectors are here to do. That's their job in life. And the moment that they're recognized, that's the moment that they can be successful in life. And that's the moment that they get access to the energy that they need. If they're always waiting for invitations, they run into a lot of difficulty. And it's one of the things to recognize about any projected element that's within you. It's really waiting for the right kind of recognition, not just any old invitation. Remember that just because somebody asked correctly according to your design doesn't mean that you have to be grateful and say yes to them. And that's particularly true when you're dealing with projectors. It's essential for them to recognize they are waiting for the right invitation. And without that right invitation, it doesn't work for them. They end up being bitter. So it's if you know that you're so good at art and you are you you just you just know you just know you're aware like i'm such an amazing painter i'm so talented and i'm going to go out in the world and do something with it you are entering a path that was not meant for you possibly why risk it just wait wait to be shown the path that's what happens to us we get shown where to go and then it's so funny to me that all these Human design experts on Facebook are so radical with the invitation. And then what do they do on the side? They organize retreats. They even put in their post, this is an open invitation, projector-only retreat, projector-only immersion. It's crazy. Do you know what it means? Empirical. Human design is empirical. It means it's based on your experience. So go ahead and try. And try and kick, kick in some doors that are not meant for you. Because this is how you learn. You're not perfect straight away. And we're not meant to be perfect. The only thing we're supposed to be is ourselves.